Hey everyone, Flying Dutch here. Welcome back to part 3 in Manolords, where we have built four farm plots. Uh, we're only going to use one for the flax at the moment, since we have a good amount of food. And uh, yeah, we just need to get the clothing going. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get the speed going. Uh, we have two free families, so we have two spots left for more families to come. And they should come, because we are above 50% approval. Uh, we still have 100% public order, that will change later, I guess. And um, yeah, I think we are going to continue getting all the supplies over here. So we still need to build the church. And we need to build a clothing stall. Now, the clothing stall we can build because we have hides. I think those hides are still over here though. Yeah, so they need to be brought back to uh, our center. And we can only do that when we have someone on the storehouse, I guess. So... Uh, let's get one family on the storehouse so that they can start uh, distributing the stuff. And then I will build a, um, a tannery. Because it, it uses hides to produce leather. And leather is enough right now to fulfill their needs. We need linen, leather or yarn. Or wool. It's called yarn here. We also have 16 uh, troops. We need 4 more uh, male population. We have 16. Uh, we do have four shields and four spears left. Um, and the only thing that they lack is a helmet. So at some point, and I think that's over here. Yeah, we can get basic armor making. We can get a blacksmith to craft helmets. And armor and plate armor as well. Oh, it's all inhabitants to artisans. Okay, so this is uh, something you're going to put on a house, I think. But that is fine. Don't think we do we have a blacksmith building? No. Well we have a smithy. That's for tools. So I don't think we have that right now. And some cosmetic things. We can erase uh, shrubbery. And we can put a shrine. It's cosmetic. <laughs> Maybe I should put it down. Maybe it's an Easter egg or something. You never know, right? Uh, yeah, so let's go to speed 2 and we are going to start building the tannery. Uh, let's actually extend this road and build it over there. Why do I have to carry this alone? Like this. I'm going to build a tannery here. Not, not too far away from the storehouse so that they can just go there and pick uh, things up. So you're going to build a church and uh, and a tavern in the middle over here. Something like that. So we need four timber. Uh, we should have that. Oh yeah, we need to go out of this menu. Yeah, we have 11. Okay, we also have 20 planks, so we can start building the church. Yeah, we have all the things. Fulfills one level of faith requirement for the burger pots. Provides hallowed ground for burial of the dead. Villagers. Workers become grave diggers. Okay, so and you have someone. Oh, that is a big building. Hey, but it's going to fit here, I think. Nice. It fits, guys. I like that. There we go. So it's going to take a while before this church is built. And this is the marketplace in front of the church. Yeah, I like it. We're going to build a tavern over here, I guess. Don't know yet. We also need a graveyard. Maybe we're going to put it behind the church. Alright, we have the fuel. We have so much food. We have so much berries. A bit of eggs because we have a chicken farm over here. Only three chickens though. And we're going to get some vegetables uh, in November. So they are now only plowing. As you can see it's uh, darker stuff. And it's going to take forever. Um, it's going to be better when we assign a... Uh oh, what is this? Fence up. We need... Planks for it, I think. Allows to use a follow field as a pasture.
Oh. Oh yeah, of course. So when there is no more fertility, we can put sheep on it. They're gonna fertilize the field, and then we can uh, go it, go after it again. Okay, that is a nice mechanic in the game. I like that. I really do. Everyone is very happy. Still have two more room for two more families, but one family needs to keep working on this. Uh, okay, there we go. The, the storehouse guy brought the hides back. Lock piece, transitionary resource. Oh, I guess this shows us what they are bringing. I did not have a chance to look at your comments yet because I still don't know where my fields, where my shields and spears are. I have no idea. And there we go. We have an extra family, so uh, we can put someone in a tannery. And then this family is going, one is going at the market stall and the other two are going to work here and uh, make some clothing. And then we just need to make the church and then we can start upgrading. Uh, so yeah, this is the extra house, this small thing. Which is pretty sad actually, <laughs> when you think about it. Okay, we have... All of these are upgraded. Let's upgrade a couple more. There we go. More family members, very nice. Now we have 16 militia. And now they need to work on the church. It's gonna take a while because they need to bring five timber, 20 planks and 10 stone. So let's speed it up. Okay, the plowing is going actually very quickly, if you ask me. Yeah. 62%. I don't think they're gonna uh, sow, sow anymore. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe they will wait after winter. I mean, it's August already. You can see that it is dry, I think, on the, on the map as well when it is August. Okay, they did not bring any goods yet. And these ones are now making leather, so they just put it in the water, the hides, and then they and then we have leather. <laughs> and they are going to the clothing stall. There we go. We have five leather, so that should mean, yeah, that five of my houses have leather. The other the other three do not have leather. And I guess that is why it is important to have a second family on one plot, because you don't need f 10 leather, you still need 5. The, the fuel, there is actually one plot that is not having fuel, I don't know why. And the food variety is very nice. Okay. Interesting. So now we need to build the church and then we can start uh, upgrading it to level 2. And level 2 Burkage plots generate one regional wealth per family per month. So there are two families over here, so we get two wealth per month when it is level 2. And with the wealth we can get more oxes, we can hire horses, and we can put more gardens. So that's going to be uh, amazing. And maybe we can make our smithy to make helmets for our militia. That would be really cool as well. Alright, we can uh, speed this up. We have no one on the granary, but there is not a big need for it. I think the storage house is more important. And how far do you need to go? Because these are no trees, there are no trees here anymore. Maybe we should put it over here. I'm gonna put my uh, logging camp over here. Now that will mean that my saw pit, who needs timber, and my woodcutter's lodge ne also needs timber, um, that the transports are going to be very long. So maybe we should remove all of it to over here. There we go. Yeah, these things, these supplies, all need to be transferred. So that's going to take a while. Because we are working on the church. Where's my ox? 
Oh, that's the well. Pitching post. Resources stolen. They stole 10... Logs? They stole 10 firewood. The bandits. These ones again. I hate you guys. But I need more people to fight them. Yeah, now the fuel is going down. Ah, they're working on the church. Oh, there's Mox. Yeah, we need another ox. That is what we need. But uh, we can only get an extra ox when uh, we have money. And we don't have money. And we need to upgrade our stables, which we need two planks for. Then we can get another ox. And then we can only make planks when these things are built. So yeah, it's all going to take a long time. Yeah, we have four unassigned families. Let's put one on the granary for now. Okay, the, the stuff is done over here. We are done with plowing. We are now going to sow, okay? How does that even look on the map, sowing? Are they just... Ah, like that. <laughs> okay. Good luck sowing. Okay, the, this thing is almost built, but we are now waiting for the timber. It's gonna take a long time, because I don't know where my ox is. Where is my ox? What is he doing? Hello? York. Are there logs over here? Why are you going this way? What is going on? Let, let's follow this... Uh, this ox over here. Uh, we have higher priorities. We need to start getting uh, a saw pet up and running. This will be the highest priority. And then this one will be very high. Actually, this this one, and then this will be high. And then we're gonna make the church. So you guys should now make the, uh, the timber stuff. Let's see where he's going. Are you... what? Wait. Where are you going? What are you doing? What? Oh! Okay. One thing I would love to see in this game is that you can forbid stuff. Because they are going to bring these timbers that this woodcutter's lodge, or however it's called, has made. This is going to take forever. And apparently it is using the roads and that is super annoying. Can you use this road please? I mean, come on. Don't walk all the way around. Go here. Oh god. Well, we might run out of uh, firewood because uh, <laughs> this is gonna take for a very long time. My goodness. That is not what I would like to see. Can you see when something is sewed? Oh yes you can. I guess the little bit of greenish stuff is uh, when it is sewed. 
And it's already growing, so we will get some crops. Hey, you brought one timber. How nice of you. And where are you gonna go now? A bandit camp was sighted. Uh-oh. A new bandit camp. So we have two bandit camps now. That's not good. That is not good. What is this... What is this guy doing, man? Where are you going? Okay, they're gonna take this, right? Please, can you take these ones? No way! No way! I don't like this. Go back! They really want to take this one first to bring all the way over here. Okay, this is gonna take uh, a half a year to reconstruct these buildings. Wow. It's September, are we now gonna harvest? Or not? No, they're gonna wait. Wait, are they not doing anything? They're going home and they are waiting. Estimated resources produced. Days left to harvest. Hmm. Not sure what that is. We have a clothing stall ready. Hey, we have a new thing on the market. We have a clothing stall. We have a food stall from the granary worker. Another clothing stall from... I don't know. We have two. Yeah, sometimes your your storehouse people make a stall as well. So we have a stall from the tannery, but also the storehouse. Food, firewood. We have two food things. We have uh, some vegetables, because we are harvesting them. Ah, there we go. Oh, the logging camp's finished. Hey! We can start cutting trees again. Good luck with that. And now we need firewood because it's getting winter and then we don't have enough. Build it now. Luckily my ox doesn't need to drink in this game. <laughs> These are six... Oh. We have four male population. Oh, but we have six spears, so there they are. Some of these uh, spears are over here. We have two and two. But we have... How does that... What? What? Okay, something really weird going on that I don't understand. We have four shields here, but they should need two spears and two shields. So that is very, very weird. But I guess we have the extra stuff in the houses then. And not in our storehouse. Can I tell them to not put it here? Can I click this? No. I can also not click on the question mark. Huh. Well, not sure. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's go to speed 4. Because we need to start making firewood quickly. So in November they are going to go and uh, harvest uh, what, is, what is grown over here. Maybe nothing. We are going to run out of firewood. I already know it. Because my stupid ox need to go all around the map. To take one timber. My god. We have two years of food, guys. 
183 berries. Okay, they can build it now. The family should come here and build it and then we can start making it again. You guys are debranching trees, good. Come on. We need firewood now. Build it. Actually, two families can work here. I don't even know how that works, but... Cut these trees away as well. We have plenty of building room. These are commodities. Well, you can make shoes as well. Okay, and we can make planks again soon. And only do it when we have at least 10, 10 timber in there. Unassigned families needed for construction. Oh, we have no one for construction. Let's uh, fire one family. Then we can steep, uh, Then we can keep building the wooden church. Okay, we are bringing in the timber. Firewood stall. Yeah, we are getting more stalls over here. I like it. People are very happy about it. Just need to build the fence and I think then it's ready. The church. Ready? No. Not yet. If new mercenaries we can hire, but we need money for other things. Another family is coming in, nice. So soon we can have a family working everywhere. And I love that actually. Another family member joined and I think we have, yes, we have 20 out of 20 materials. So we need to make more spears and stuff at some point. Woodcutters is done, the saw pit is working. The locking camp is working. Forager hut is working. The church has been built. There we go. Everyone is now working somewhere. And... Oh! I like that one. And now we can upgrade it to a small stone church. And we need to do this when we are... Needing more uh, religion. Uh, I can assign a family, but they will only make graves. So I'm not going to do that. So we have uh, nine families working at the moment and two doing nothing. So we can uh, extend something. What are, you, what are you guys doing now? No idea. Okay. What is the next thing that we need? Well, we can upgrade our houses now because we have everything accessed we need four timber for it we do have enough and they will generate one regional wealth so we are absolutely going to do this we need to make uh, two of them and then we will go to the next level so let's upgrade the one with the farm and the one with the chickens oh but they are already working on something so we have to wait a bit here it's october All the hides are now made into leather. It's going very slowly. That's why we are having some flax. Because we have plenty of food. But of course I want to make breads as well. And apples and honey. Actually, we could start doing the honey thing. You know what? Let's see what we're going to build next. We have two families doing nothing. We can uh, get one family on something. Uh, the tavern. We need some sort of ale. I don't think we can get that. Is there anything I didn't build here? The forester hut to make more trees, but I don't care about that. We can make the apiary. 
We can collect honey. Uh, maybe it's time to start collecting stone. Yeah. It's time to uh, get some stone, guys. Because we need stone for a lot of buildings. So I think I'm going to get the stone. Unless there's something else I want. Imported by the livestock trader. How do I get that? Trade. Oh, a livestock trading boat. Enables trading livestock with trade points and other settled regions. Maybe we should build those, uh, those, those posts and see how they work. Let's start with a normal trading post. Regional wealth is currently used for trade. Yeah, we, oh, we don't have any wealth. Maybe we should not do that then. No. And I would love to trade livestock. But then we also need wealth and we don't have that. So maybe we should wait a bit with it. Uh, what do we have here? Converts iron. Uh, iron to tools. We don't need that yet. Clay into clay tiles. We will need that to upgrade a church. Malt house. Workers use barley to produce malt. And I guess malt is going to be ale. It's going to be for next season, I think, when we are going to get barley. We have that one. The weaver workshop. We need that at some point. Converts berry into dyes. We don't need dyes yet. I wonder if you can sell dyes. You know what? Let's build the trade post. Maybe we can sell stuff. Uh, does it matter where I build this thing? I don't know. Let's put it a bit further away here. Let's see what that uh, building does. Very curious. Oh, and we're going to upgrade this house. Where the chickens are. Vegetables are coming in from this house. We are still getting some eggs. We have bread. We have berries. We have one meat. But yeah, they're not getting more meat because uh, when the animals go below 10, they stop hunting. So that they can reproduce themselves. <gasps> Bandit, Bandit stole bread and eggs. We need to take care of those bandits, guys. Should we just take care of it and see if we win? <laughs> you know what? Next episode, I am going to attack them. <laughs> and I will save the game before I do that. Because I want to know how combat works in this game. <laughs> We're going to lose all our male population. Everyone dies. I already know that it is going to happen. We do have enough room, but not for too long. Yeah, we need to make planks. Are you making planks? You are. Yeah, we just need more oxes so that we can bring a timber to the woodcutter's lodge. Takes a very long time. To bring a thing over there. We are using our ox to put this back over here. To bring five timber here and to bring one timber to the woodcutter's lodge. And that is why you can... Oh no, you can't. You cannot assign a ox over here yet. Maybe later in the game. So yeah. 28 months of food. I love to see that. And we are making two level two buildings. Then we go to the next level. I hope that we can sell stuff for, for wealth. I mean, I can sell some of my berries. I could even sell some of my firewood. I hope that this is a thing. I like that they are sometimes going to the church. It doesn't do anything, the church. It's just there. Maybe later in the game. Who knows? We have room for one more. 
family. I think I'm gonna build houses over here as well. And over here. And then over here maybe. And then make this the in the heart of the, uh, the town. I really like my farming plots. They are not... Uh oh. Winter is approaching. Okay, we could harvest, but it will happen in November, and that's fine. Then it can grow a bit more, and then we get a bit of flax, so that we can make uh, uh, not the leather, but the linen. So we have two types of, uh, of clothing materials. We will need that building for it, but we will build it when it's time. We need one more timber for the trading post. What is this? Work area is empty. <gasps> Workers can't find anything to gather within their work area. Yeah, because berries are seasonal. So they can stop working here. And do this again in the spring when the berries grow again. So they can go away over there. Is there anything I really need to do? Not really. Hey, there we go. We are getting more wealth already. Uh, can you upgrade this thing? We need two planks. We are not making any planks, apparently. Really? Oh, maybe they're gonna bring the planks now. We have two stacks of planks. To the storehouse. Yeah, he's gonna get it, right? Three of them. There we go. So we should get some planks soon. And then we can upgrade our hitching post into a small stable. And then we can order another ox when we have 20 wealth. I think that is going to be our priority. Because it takes forever to build everything with one ox. It's going to be used for so many things. And we can use the ox to uh, plow the fields. Well, plow the field. Is that for plowing? Plowing station. So we want way more animals in our... I, I want at least four or five oxes at some point. Okay, did they build it? Almost. Let's see how trading works in this game. Nice building though. I like it. Okay, the trading post. Let's put a family in. We can order a new horse. After placing an order, a livestock merchant will come to your town and deliver the animal. So we need horses for trading posts, apparently. Trade. Oh, <gasps> trade. Oh. Full trade. Trade until the desired surplus is reached. Export. Set until the desired surplus is reached. Buy or sell or trade. If I do full trade, and then I can set, I want so much stone. And then they buy stone to get it, and they sell it to go back to it. Now, we don't need to do that, so we will not trade any stone. I will export some planks. No, 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 we are not going to export any planks. Are you, are you crazy? Oh, we can do all kinds of things here. A stone we're gonna get ourselves soon, so I'm not gonna go for it. After paying to establish a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only if this only this specific type of good. Okay. Okay, we need roots for this one, and it costs a lot of money for roof tiles and blocks. Uh, we can sell crops if we don't have any. Food. Here, let's 
export some of our berries until we have 200. We will get three for each. That's fine. Okay. Let's see how that works. Materials. Uh, no, we don't want to trade anything else, I think. I mean, we could sell some firewood, but we need it ourselves, so I'm not going to do that. Commodities. We have six tools. We can sell it for six and import it for 16. Wow. And military. Okay, let's see how this, this goes. Oh. So the people over here are going to get the stuff, I guess from the granary, and put it at the trade post, at the pantry, and then a merchant will come and take it, hopefully. Interesting, so you can just do a whole market stuff here with this thing. That is very interesting. I like that. Okay, I am going to end it over here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we are going to start getting stone, maybe clay, maybe iron. Because the families are coming in. And we will upgrade more houses to level 2 so that we are making more wealth. And for now, thank you so much for watching. And I see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.